Now that we've got a summary of information that shows us that activity was detected, a certain type of activity, why we triggered the credential phishing in the first place, we also have the context about other people have seen it from the community with Collective Defense. We know that they went down to the raw data to find some more information. So we'll go ahead and check all of those things in just a moment. But first, we're going to go ahead and click on Expert System Impact and look at the scoring. So this particular alert has a 930 out of 1,000, so it's very high. Expert System Impact will tell us why we scored an alert a certain way and provide that information. So the expert system automates the playbook of what a level one SOC analyst would apply for the different kinds of threats. So IronNet has the subject matter experts to build those playbooks based on real world situations and our own hunting to defend against these nation state level threats. And so there's a few different parts to this. One, we're going to provide the details about why we scored alerts the way that we did. We're going to show you the math and every one of these rows is a check that can take time, can impact systems that might change frequently, some internal, some external. For example, domain blacklisted. So we'll take a look at the domain. We'll check external sources that we're keeping constantly up to date uh, through services we subscribe to, through our own threat intelligence and detection team. If a domain's blacklisted, you'll see far right, there's a row. Every one of those numbers that's red means something is more risky. So this particular domain has been seen before. It has been blacklisted. There's a red 100 the score is riskier. So things like the domain period, when was it updated? When was it registered? Each of those things, if it's a very young domain, for example, somebody just stood it up, risky activity, red score, bumps that up. And so from an effectiveness perspective, we're gonna show you every single check we did for every single event. It's gonna save your team time because every one of these checks is gonna take somebody a couple of minutes or longer. They're gonna get done automatically. So it's basically like having an assistant for your team members. Go do all of these checks. We're gonna ensure consistency. So your brand new team members might not know to do all these checks. Uh, it's one of those things that it takes a lot of time right before lunch, somebody might miss a step or different analysts will do things different ways. Uh, this will ensure that all these checks get done the same way every time and then incorporating external and internal knowledge. So the external information is things like domains blacklisted or recently updated. The internal side is gonna cover things like this reference to COI or community of interest. In your company, we will build up a behavior baseline of domains that people go to. And if nobody is going to this domain, that community of interest will be very low. If it's very low, it's a riskier score, and that's a red. Now in your environment, if you happen to have uh, a development organization or a red team and they go to particular sites on a regular basis, that community of interest will be higher, it will be less risky, and that row might actually be green. You know, normally people don't normally go to that, but if your team, multiple people do, that seems like it's a normal activity. And so we'll adjust that scoring as appropriate, external, internal, done every time for every single event. And so now we've got an overview that we can see activity detected, scored very high. We've got all the context from the collected defense. We can go ahead and take a next step and say, well, let me go ahead and hunt in my environment and see if what other people are seeing is exactly what I saw. And we've already gotten the head start. So up at the top right, I'm gonna go ahead and click on run hunt. And the key with run hunt is we're gonna go ahead and get right down to the information that we started from and fill in the blanks already. Which source do I wanna look at? What destination domain is it going to? What kind of activity, in this case, post? All of that is filled in at the top. And we can revisit these tabs later and actually change the hunt and pivot. Uh, we'll do that in a second. But for right now, we'll go ahead and start here. So we've got that activity. I can go ahead and click on the session table and I can see a summary of the activity. There was a post. You can see that login PHP page. We can see the domain. Again, all very easily available in a single click. And now based on that commentary that we saw in the uh, Collective Defense Dome, I'm gonna click on the magnifying glass and get right down to the packet level data. And just like the comment said, I can see in that packet level data, email and password were passed. So data did go out as part of a post. I was given that heads up because of the collective defense commentary that was involved. And we can go ahead and take some next steps, next actions. Now, one of the pieces I'll go ahead and do is take a half step back. From an IronNet perspective, one of the things that we do that's unique is we were able to go from an alert all the way down to the packet capture. And other vendors, do actually provide some of that same capability of providing packet capture for an alert that's been generated, but only that alert. IronNet is unique in that IronNet collects all the packet capture data for all of the activity, not just when an alert is triggered. And so a second ago, we were at that hunt page. And so now my senior level hunter wants to go ahead and do some additional investigation. Well, what else happened with that source before the alert or after the alert? What we can do in that hunt page 
is click remove and I'll take out the post. I'll take out the domain. With one click, I can even change the time frame to 72 hours. Now when I click run hunt, it's gonna show me all the activity from that source. When I go ahead and click on scorecards, I can see all the application protocols, the destinations, the destination countries, destination ports. So this enables your team to be more effective, to be able to hunt, point and click without having to do a heavy regex, without having to fill in the blanks or copy paste for all the activity that's been seen um, in IronView through the collection of the network traffic.